Hey, how you doing, guys? Uh, let me just get this real quick. Perfect. So it is March twenty eighth, two thousand twenty four. Let's put this up. Hopefully, it doesn't fall. Cool. Today, I'm going to talk about the waves. The title is inspired of a Portugal the Man song. Portugal the Man, I went to see them in back in September of last year. I went to see one of their concerts. They have a really, really a good variety of songs, mostly like indie rock. I like it. One of their songs, The Waves, I'm going to put the link in the description. It's, I think it's very, I think it, it kind of encapsulates what's happening right now. Where there's war, Israel, pa Israel, Palestine, Hamas, Gaza, all of that. There's the Russian Ukraine war, possible war in Taiwan, possible civil war about to happen with the election. Already feels like a civil war between races. The media, that's how the media portrays it. You see, the other day I saw a video of, of even war against the sexes, the genders. I just saw a video of of someone, uh, how do you call it, a serial puncher. Somebody going around punching women. Serial women, you know, woman, woman punch. A women punch. Goes, goes around in New York City and just punches women. That's basically it. And wow. Just a lot of crazy men. It's a lot of division, a lot of reasons, a lot of reasons to just, to just hate humanity. You should never hate anything, not even hate your own race, your own species, but it really, really is hard. And when the way, what, one of the thing way the wave says in the song is, that no one, nobody cares about the waves. Nobody cares about the people who got hurt. Whoever dies today, we have a million people next year. Whoever dies today doesn't matter because we have people next year. Doesn't matter what the war is going to be like today, or if people remember the war in a year or two. Everybody's going to forget. I remember. I really remember when the Ukraine war was still recent in the Johnny Depp case. I already talked about this in the video before. But the Johnny Depp case with the trial with Amber Heard. I love the actor. I do. But this is not as important as people dying. And I don't want to sound like, like, oh, because I too, I, I too want to forget about the horrors. The danger, the blood, the, the lack of mercy and empathy that is war. And, but I don't forget. I just make face and do what I have to do every day because this isn't anything that I can do. I believe that we're just desensitized. Too much shit happening on our phones. Too much stupid news for us to actually start caring about with stuff that matters. If the whole world just stopped and united together to stop this war, I believe it would have happened. If the whole world cared more, I believe any any war would have been prevented. And it could have been a stepping stone for how humanity is to act from there onwards. This could have been a demonstration of, of how we are more advanced as a species, how we're not back to our colonizing and conquering days. How we've gone above from that, but instead we just... 
Of course, we are sending money. We're not. I'm not sending. I'm not saying I'm sending money specifically. What United States funding? And then, well, I guess we are specifically because you get taxed on that, and then everything goes up. I help the people that I can when it's in my power. I help who I can when I have the power to do so. And frankly, I, I helped a lot of people. I helped what I could last year. And right now, I, I can't. I literally can't. I am just trying to help myself now. Because I literally am up to debt. And tomorrow's payday, which will get me up to float for next paycheck. Paycheck to paycheck. That's how I'm living now. And yeah, you help where, where you can, you help support, you speak up, even when nobody's going to listen, or maybe one person, or maybe your kids in the future. I always talk about my kids that I don't have yet. Strangely enough, I never wanted to be a dad when I was younger. I didn't want that. <laughs> now, I strive to be the best man possible a version of myself that my kids my wife will admire that my partner admires me to be and i hope to live up to the, their expectations and go above and beyond that i hope i am the little change in the world that i want to see in even if it takes time even if it takes suffering even if it takes talking alone in the in a basement filled with little rats for a couple years, even if it takes years of doing the same thing over and over again and not seeing any results, even if it takes that. Because I don't want, I don't want to be a part of the waves of people that die, that are sent to war. I don't, don't, I don't want to be the waves of people that don't care either. They just scroll, don't do shit, and talk about stupid, stupid stuff, stupid, oh, what should I wear, oh, I don't like this because this and that, everything is so stupid in comparison to the bigger picture. Even my own, my own stupid shortcomings or obstacles, when I realize how stupid that is, I get angry at myself because I realize what? Who am I to think that this is such an important matter in my life? People would die to have my obstacles and my situation right now. Who the fuck am I? We should be ashamed of ourselves. I guess having shame. I don't want to shame you guys. I don't know your situation. When I say we, I'm talking about I'm talking about the people who just who forget the people who forget the little shit. Like people who forget how little their obstacles are. In any case, I'm gonna leave at that. Got to remember the waves, not be one of them, and basically that. That's all. See if I can fill this up. See you guys.